Hmm, something extra in my mailbox. Got myself a bubble envelope from viewer Richard. Richard had reached out to me over on YouTube and indicated that he had sent a bubble envelope my way. Not knowing the contents as the bubble envelope had not yet arrived, it finally did show up to viewer Richard that took the time and sent this my way. If you would like to send something my way, revealing the address of which you guys can send your poems, if you guys do like to write poetry, letters, if you'd like to draw pictures, or if you'd like to see something shown here on this channel, something even reviewed, you can send it over to the review spot at 6975 Meadowville Town Center Circle, Suite 196, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, L5 Nancy to Victor 7. I'm doing my best to try to cover up Robert's full address here. And we're going to go ahead and cut open the envelope. According to the contents here, it says letter and Lego toys. He could be completely throwing me off. I hope certainly it's not a, something like a sandwich inside. Sandwiches don't last the full transit time from point A to point B. Let's flip around the envelope here. I'm going to cut the side. I didn't realize as well there was some information indicated on the side. Oh, it's one of those envelopes. Oh, it's the envelope that usually has all the other... No, no, that's not the one. Sometimes you get yourself envelopes. I'm sure you've come across these yourself. Where it's made up of almost like... I don't want to say lint, but you cut it open immediately and you know you're going to have quite a mess ahead of you. Speaking of quite a lot of stuff ahead of me, got myself quite a lot of stuff going on inside here. Let's first grab ourselves the envelope. It says on the front, spot. That would be me. We're going to go ahead and open up the envelope here. Big, big thank you again to Richard R. that took the time and sent this my way. First of all, let's see, we've got some pictures in here. I want to start first with the letter, because I'm sure the letter has some interesting stuff to read here. It says, Dear Spot, it's me, Richard. It's been about two years since I sent you my package that contained the Flash. Oh, he was the one that kindly sent over the Flash figure. I hope you enjoyed that figure. I have enjoyed that figure. Thank you very much, Richard. I've been enjoying your recent videos as well, especially your BAM unboxing videos. I've sent more surprises your way with something that you wanted for a very long time. To be fair, really, I did throw in very, very wasn't there initially. I've continued to work on my YouTube channel. In fact, I'm currently working on a passion project. I'm in the process of filming my fan, fan film entitled Superman Jubilation. It would be awesome if you could check it out when it comes out later this year. I've left pictures of the two lead actors in their superhero costumes that they will be wearing in the film. Along with some posters, enjoy your items uh, I, that I've sent and cannot wait to see more from you. Regards, Richard. With a, quite a nice looking signature as well. You should really give me some techniques, some tips for a proper signature. My signature looks like the chicken grabbed the pen and took off across the paper. It looks terrible. Let's first of all check out these actors here. First one here is Lee, uh, Liam Wallace Harper as Superman Vald Zod. Gotta say, that's a nice looking costume. I don't know if that's nat natural musculature. If it is, he's been working out. Liam, Liam Wallace Harper. Very nice looking costume, though. I've always been a big fan of this design of Superman suits. Uh, we've got Isabella Hertz as the Huntress. You can see she's got her mask on there as well, and seems to be as well wearing elbow-length gloves. I wish I could pull off elbow-length gloves. We also have ourselves Ike Rubin as the black mask. He's wearing his mask. It says the mask tells us more than a face. That's deep. That's very deep. And then we've got the, I guess, the remaining cast of Superman Jubilation. Yes, by all means, Richard, when you finish up that video and you've posted it, let me know. I'm going to share it around on my end as well. Let's see what else we have in here. So he did take the time and send, send some stuff my way. I've got some bubble envelope here. Oh, 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 it's Bane, the figure you always wanted. I did always want this. I hope I'm not saying this too loudly. Anybody that had ear earbuds on right now, I may have just yelled into your left ear. I did always want this Bane. A long time ago, actually, in fact, we had a look at these. Let's go ahead and take his feet, plug it on to the notebook display stand. Yeah, that looks awesome. 
Thank you very much, Richard. That is going to go nicely with the rest of them that I have on display. The only one I... There were a couple of the ones that I didn't get the chance to grab, and Bane certainly was one of them. That's awesome. He does have uh, articulation, by the way. Head, arms, legs. Legs there. I'm going to put him right over there. Uh, what else did Richard send over my way? He seems to have sent over some Patches. I had a dog when I was younger named Patches. It was a Dalmatian dog. Supposedly, I was too young to remember this, but the yarns that my family would spin to me, the dog apparently ripped off the mailer's ear, the mailman's ear, in another room. I think he was teasing the dog. Took his ear right off. We got ourselves a mushroom, a mushroom patch. Very cool. We also have Mjolnir. Captain America's shield. That would be Black Widow. Iron Man. I would assume that to be Hulk. And we've got also ourselves either Flash or Shazam. Possibly could be Shazam. I'm not sure if he's... I'm assuming he probably didn't make these, being the fact that there's a printed label on the back of it. That's going to go rather nicely on my jean jacket. Thank you very much. Let's see what else we have in here. We have the TNT series of Minecraft minifigures. This comes to us from the folks over at Mattel. Ripping the box... I don't have to be necessarily so ginger with that. Inside, we've got ourselves a smaller little collectible inside a body bag. Let the guy out. Let him breathe. There we go. Now, I'm not too up to date on my Minecraft information, so you guys can let me know down below in the comment section what character you think this is or what character you know this is. It sort of looks like... I don't know, like a jellyfish? I mean, I, that, I would imagine that be the hair on the sides. Right now, some Minecraft fan is just chuckling to himself. This feeble old man has no idea what he's talking about when it comes to Minecraft. I don't. Please don't call me feeble. Put that over to the side. We also got ourselves, let's see here, some Oshis. These are the DC Oshis. I guess I really did need to grab myself a knife. I've got grab a knife just off to the side here. Cut the plastic carefully. We have certainly cut ourselves in the past. We don't want to do that again. Let's take the plastic off. Let's see who we got. I'm assuming, mate, is that Superman? Superman would be fun. Got ourselves a booklet, first of all. Open up the booklet just to check out the contents inside so that you guys are aware. There's Shazam, Hologram, Blue Superboy. There's Silver Age Batman, The Flash. Superman, Hologram, Blue Wonder Woman. A black and white Superman. Red Tornado. Hologram Blue Supergirl, Hologram Blue Bizarro, and Robin. Oh, and there's also... A, my, <laughs> my thumb was covering it. There's also a golden armored Batman. Nothing on the, on the back. Let's see which one we did get this time around. I feel as if I did review these in a previous video. I could be completely wrong by that. Classic Superman would be good. Classic Batman would also be good. Got ourselves a classic Batman. They are squishy. They sort of feel like gummies, not the gummies you traditionally, well, I can't assume that everybody's eating the traditional gummies, but the gummy bears are generally soft. These are the gummies that tend to be inside like little tins, or they're like the, the gimmick or novelty gummies like Super Mario. Those gummies are a little on the denser side. That kind of reminds me of a denser gummy. I would certainly not encourage anybody to put this into their mouth and start chewing on that. That is a neat looking Batman. I'm assuming as well, you could probably put that on top of a pencil. Is that right? I hope so. I wouldn't want to go off and assume that that's the thing that you have to do with it. Uh, we also have, oh, a minifigure bag. Specifically, Lego Minifigures Series 22. Which, to which, I don't have any of these. So it's going to be easy right away to have one that I don't have already in my collection. Let's open up the bag. Boy, Richard has spoiled us rotten. Oh, there's other things in there as well. I almost almost threw that bag to the side. And by throwing it to the side, I meant I almost threw it in the garbage. I'll just discard your waste all over the place. It looks to be like a raccoon, complete with garbage can. A raccoon that's taking out the trash. No longer is this coon just one to rummage in people's garbages. Now he's actually taking care of his own garbage. That's good. That is good. I'm going to go ahead and put the legs in first. Oh, there's the legs. 
What else did we need to do here? Oh, is that his hair? What is this? Is that his hair? I don't know. Oh, the head is inside the garbage can. That's a rather odd place to be putting a head. Some people they do that for a profession. You need to get rid of a head. I have a garbage can I'm sure that will fit inside of. I feel as if this has dead stopped this unbagging because I can't get this head out. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. Because I was curious for a second, why, all, why would it have a raccoon head and it would have also hair? But I guess the idea is that you can change if you want to have... Sort of looks like Betty White. Betty White dressed up as a raccoon to finish the look completely. She also comes in clue with a tail. Put the tail in place. Grab the rest of the body. Looks a, looks a little bit like Betty White. Betty White as a raccoon. Who supposedly, as well as taking out the trash, Betty White does all things. Poor Betty White. Rest in peace. Go ahead and get the garbage can in her hand. Twist that around. Yeah, she's taken out the trash. There we go. It's always good to be cleaning up your yard waste garbage that you have collecting around the house. You don't want that stuff sitting around. I went to a neighbor's house one day growing up as a kid. They had garbage bags all throughout their house. Kitchen, dining room, everywhere I could see there was garbage bags. I realized later the term for that was hoarding. They were hoarders. I don't know why they were hoarding garbage of all things, but there's a nice little raccoon lady who I guess doubles also as well as Betty White. Comes included with a booklet, although it's sealed right now. I can't open this up. Just cut quickly the knife. I know there's other things. I know, I know there's other things inside this as well. I don't want to take up so much of your time. These are the other characters also inside. Let's flip this around. Yeah, it's quite a selection of characters for series 22. This guy would have been fun. Looks like he comes in clue with a little tiny robot. Chili pepper lady, a minstrel. There's a whole bunch of them. Got this one right here. Taking out the trash, Betty White, Betty White Raccoon. Uh, in addition to that, we also did... Oh, there's another Oshi. Now, is it pronounced Oshi or Ushi? Ushi's seems more like it makes sense. Let's just open up, take this wrapper off. Again, I'm so sorry. This is taking up some of your time. Again, a big thank you, though, to Richard, who took that time out of his day, boxed this up, or bagged this up in this case, sent it my way. And yes, by all means, again, Richard, when you do finally have Superman jub jub Jubilation, Jubilation, it's tough to get that out, that out uh, let me know. I'll definitely share it around on my end. Open up the bag. Why do I feel like this is another Batman? It is another Batman. What is the chances of getting dual Batmans? The points on the, on the tops of his cowl, slightly on the more bent side, but double Superman. I guess two Superman or two Batman. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? That's Batman. Two Batman would still be... I guess, would it be Batman? It's not technically two different guys playing Batman. It's the same guy. So would it be two Batman? M-A-N? Who knows? Oh, the last thing inside kind of caught me more by surprise. It seems to be a Mario Kart. Now that's funny. Not necessarily funny to you, but it's funny to me. Because lately, I've dusted off the Wii. <sighs> I blew off all the dust. There was very little dust on it because we don't, we don't hoard stuff in this household. Finally got the chance to let my five-year-old daughter play the Wii. And now she's been hooked on Mario Kart. This is perfect. I'll show her. She's going to get quite excited by this. And this is also something that can clip on to a backpack. I think she's going to absolutely love that. <sighs> awesome, awesome stuff. Again, thank you very much. Just want to double check that there was nothing left in the bag. And again, we also got ourselves some upcoming sneak peeks at Richard's uh, Superman Jubilation movie. Again, let me know when you have that up and running. A big, big thank you, though, to Richard, who took the time and sent this my way and also finally fulfilled a longtime dream of mine. It's good to set goals in life, to finally get myself Bane. And he finally is in my possession. Big thank you. Big thank you. 
to Richard. Took the time to send that my way. If you guys would like to send anything my way, I'm covering up quickly the address here. If you'd like to send anything my way, you can certainly send it to the review spot at 6975 Meadowvale Town Center Circle Suite 196, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, L5N 2 Victor 7, 2V7. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, you're enjoying the content that you're seeing, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Turn the bell notification on and keep, yes, the peepers peeled while well, we have finished an unbagging. Thanks again to viewer Richard took the time to send this my way. There's definitely going to be more videos coming your way in the not so distant future. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.